Okay, first thing we have to determine. Tyler, but I want to hear it. Are we starting? Not right then. That time I did it right. All right. I'm trying to use water displacement to figure out how much stuff to use. Now, let's do this. Take the sand, go ahead and cut it, and put fill us three quarters of the way up. Can I cut the plaster? Yes. That's good. Now, I'll dump it in there. Dump three quarters of it in. Connor, why don't you help him lift that up? There you go. Oh, oh, oh. There we Rail. go. Alright. Go ahead and lift it up. Both of you. Oh. Alright. This is harder than it looks, Dad. Uh, I know. Don't breathe that. Yep. Sand smoke. Don't breathe that. Here, don't breathe that, Tyler. Okay. Go ahead and get that thing filled it up. It's not getting that much lighter. No. <laughs> No, no, Connor. Both of you on the bottom of it. There you go. Now see, you're trying to be Hercules. There. Hercules, Hercules. Now we're gonna dump it in there. This is heavy. Connor, you're not hardly helping, do you? Yes, I am. Try it again. All right. Let me get my hands under it. Okay. This is difficult. There we go. Now we're cooking. Yeah. Lift it up a little bit more. That is so three quarters. That is. That seems good. Seems like a little more. All right, that same spot there is what we're going to do with... You want me to mark it with my knife? No, nah, that's, that's, that's pretty much? good. Nope. Okay. I'll go ahead, Con, you pick that up and dump it in there. All right. It's going to be real heavy. Wow, you're strong. That Break acts up. as the aggregate. All right. Now, let's do the same thing. Nope, nope. With plastic. But this time I'd like you to just cut it there and then grab it and dump it there. Be very careful with that knife. Now. Grab it where? I mean, cut it where? Cut it right in here. But uh, that'd be cutting towards you. Yeah. Go ahead. It's not cutting. Oh, yeah, there you oh. go. There you go. All right. All right, now let's try Tyler. to get another coordinated effort right there to pour that uh, in I there. Either side. Tyler, either side. I there you go. You can just kind of, yeah, I'll hold this. There you go. Now don't breathe the smoke again, guys. I'll try and guide it. The dust. Don't breathe the dust. There we go. It's plastic. Okay. <laughs> plaster. I'll take that and fill it halfway up with water. Just like that. Okay. Can we mix it? Let's mix it. Mix it. Mix it. Mix. Like that. Don't get it all yourself, Connor. All right. After mixing, this is what your hands look like. You go ahead and rinse your hands off in Maybe. there. In here? Yeah. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. That's cool. Oh, wow. That doesn't work. You got to suds it a little bit, buddy. You're going to get your shoes all dirty. Why you got your good shoes on? Yeah. I didn't know it would be this messy. Okay. I was talking to your brother, really. Alright. Let's do this. That is cold! Oh my goodness! Oh, it's on my arm! It's on my arm! It's on my arm! It hasn't set up yet. Yeah, it's Ooh. not enough, though. It's like within one inch or a couple inches. Yeah, you need to pour more stuff. It's within a couple it's inches. It's not gonna work. <laughs> Connor, no! Dude, look what you did. You got all you got the water, water in there. I did. Well, yes, she said more sand and plaster. Yeah. 
See? No big deal. No big deezy breeze. I got the sand. <laughs> Gosh. Hi, Mom. Hi. Is that going to come off of your pants? Probably. Hopefully. Maybe not. Should we pour some more? What are you doing? Can I ask? Making a kiln. I know, but what's this, this stage of making it? Put it? Making the cement mixture. It's not cement. Concrete mixture. It's not concrete either. It needs to stay weighted down? Yeah. The water won't do it, huh? Well, I should have had a little bit more stuff in here. Now that's that's going to be all right. Okay. Tyler, let's go like... No. But, like, how long are you planning on staying in that position? Because <laughs> your back's going to hurt you. Oh, Connor, look at your shoes. Both of them. I need to. Oh, oh, that was a bad idea. I have a new tripod and the extension cord. Now it's gotten. <coughs> After trying for a while to get that bucket out of there, I decided to go on and move to drilling a hole in it and trying to get that bucket out later. You get it started. How are we going to do this? Where do we want it? It has rubber? to be on the same I think. Yeah. We're going to do it like, like this. So how don't we start it here? You're going to do it blowing up? Brent did it blowing down. I know. I'm just get it started, huh? Yep. If I had to do this again, I would use a smooth bucket and then it wouldn't leave that ridge that you see and it'd be much easier to pull that bucket out. Go ahead, dude. Okay, ease up. Now lift it up. Lift it up. I'm trying. Uh, it won't lift. You don't have to keep the trigger down when you're trying to lift. Here, watch out. Now take that hole there. Here, move your hand here. Move your hand. There you go. Alright, now. Now, when you're down in there, get it going. Yeah. No, no, there. Now get it going, then take it down there. Well, that was awful. Just that simple. Yeah, Dad. Wasn't that easy? <laughs> I was going to try to walk on you. Refractory number two. Get off of me. Right, my son is scared of a little bee by him. Okay, now we're going to go over here. We're going to pour that in there. Dad. Und. This one right there. All right, go over to the side and uh, have your brother rinse your hands off. In that lid, I put a couple of U-bolts to hold it with and some coat hanger to act as like rebar. There's the one. It's setting. It's setting. All right, here is the top. It is uh, curing. And um, pull that cup out of there. I didn't. I couldn't get to it while I was doing it because things were setting so fast. But I still I feel the heat off of that. And now, I, on this one, I took and filled in that spot in there. But this stuff was setting so, so fast that um, it's not super smooth. But it doesn't have to be. That little uh, void is filled. And the top is filled. We'll see how it uh, performs. Okay. Got a little charcoal going. Time to try this beast out for the first time. 
there's a little bit of stuff left down in here from my uh, last time so I'm gonna put that in there and let that start get going This is a one gallon bag of the pieces that I cut off, and the turnings. So I'm gonna stick that in there first and get this, uh, hopefully get a pool of metal out in there. People have asked how many pop cans it is, so I'm going to try to count them today and see how much I get out of it. But first, as I'm testing it, you can see all those foil balls my son brings me home. So all those foil balls and pie tin that's made out of foil. I'm going to try to melt that in the first run and then count the cans for the second run. Looks pretty good. Another one of those days, uh, that is a hole in it, burn another hole in the crucible, and you can see there's a little molten aluminum sitting there. So the kiln works, but I need a better crucible. There she is, not too bad right there, huh? And then it goes crazy on me. And here is my new crucible. It, uh, it's about a quarter inch thickness tubing, four inches and a half on the outer. I made it about uh, nine inches long. And here's, I went over to my friend's house that has a Millermatic, and I'm here to tell you, welding with a good welder, unbelievable, and a good helmet where you could see. I was able to lay down fairly decent bead no leaks so uh, let's get this in there and give it a shot I usually take the soup cans and stick them in the fire to burn off the shellac or whatever that uh, coating they have on the inside and the paper. But this time I was pressed for time. I should have done that.
And here's what we have. Um, this is right around, um, let's see, this is right around six to seven pounds. I had to do it on a bathroom scale, so I don't know how accurate that is. But um, there's from the, the cans that I had and then the ingot that I poured, little strays there. Um, and here's all the, the junk. So yes, there is a lot of junk. However, this looks like, man, there seems like a lot of aluminum left in some of this. So I might try to get that thing superheated, put it back in there, see if I can pour some more off of it. But the crucible worked really well. So uh, a little bit more refining and might have something here.